Hi everyone, I'm Merle Reese, and welcome once again to Old School All-22, a look back at a very, very special Eagles moment. Mike, week number two, the Kansas City Chiefs. Eagles haven't been to Arrowhead a lot of times, but when they've been there, the games have generally been something special. Go well, back to 1998. Mm -hmm. Rookie by the name of Deuce Staley, the Gamecock from the University of South Carolina, and that night, he announced his presence to the NFL world. Well, in going against a, a guy that we know very well in Andy Reid, going out to Arrowhead, and Andy Reid, I always thought, was such a great planner of the game. Getting his team ready to go in and play against everybody that they play against, I think that was one of the hallmarks of Andy Reid and why he's been such a successful coach. But Deuce Staley, you speak of, he had three touchdowns in that game that we're talking about. Let me show you two of those touchdowns and the impact that Deuce Staley had. It's their opening drive, and the Eagles have the ball on Kansas City's five-yard line. On first and goal, this is going to be a lead play to the left with Deuce Staley following fullback Kevin Turner. Rodney Pete takes the snap and hands the ball off to Staley, but watch the read by Deuce. By the time he hits his third step, he sees the backside linebacker over pursuing, and he's gonna hit the hole right up the middle between the center and the guard. Staley stays square to the line of scrimmage and runs behind his pads, and he shuffles into the end zone to give the Eagles an early lead. Later in the game, and down by 10, and knocking on the door, Pete will again go back to Staley. It's second and 10 from the 17-yard line, and the Eagles line up in a split backfield with Deuce lined up to the right. He's going to run a simple Texas or arrow route on this play, cutting right into the middle of the field. Deuce catches the quick pass and looks to be in trouble, but he makes three defenders miss and runs through a fourth tackle on his way to the end zone for the third touchdown of the game. The Eagles would go on to lose by a field goal, but at that moment, the Eagles fans knew that they had a player that they could count on for years to come in number 22. Deuce Staley had a great impact in Philadelphia. He was a, he was a sledgehammer of a back. He could overpower you. He could take it outside. He was an all-around back, and you know what? He is still, to this day, making his presence felt as the Eagles running back coach. Well, I, I remember always saying that Deuce was that guy that would wobble like a weevil. He would wobble but didn't fall down. He had this ability and this balance. He was able to be very shifty while moving forward and make guys miss. A guy as big as Deuce Staley was, able to make people miss, could catch the ball relatively solid out of the backfield, just enjoyed his play overall.